Today, we're going to discuss how to implement transformer models to perform sentiment analysis. For those of you who don't know, sentiment analysis is the process of determining if text is negative or positive. And a single model can be applied to many different situations. Perhaps you want to determine if incoming tweets about a company are negative or positive, or maybe you want to do the same for incoming reviews about a product. In either case, you can use the same model oftentimes. So if we go over to huggingface.co slash models and we click on text classification, uh, we'll see that many of the most downloaded models are for sentiment analysis. All the ones with SST uh, were trained on the same uh, data set for sentiment analysis. And for this tutorial, we'll be covering how to implement the most downloaded text classification model, which course is for sentiment analysis. We're going to start off with pip installing a PyPy package that my team created called Happy Transformer. And Happy Transformer allows you to implement transformer models for various tasks like text classification with only a few lines of code. We're going to use Happy Transformer to import a class called Happy Text Classification, like so. And we're going to use this newly imported class to create an object called happy tc. The happy text classification class has three potential parameters we can adjust. The first one is model type, which is essentially the kind of model. So if we go back here, we'll notice it is a distilbert model. So if we go back, we'll type in distilbert in all caps. Then moving on, we have model name. So we'll set the model name to what's given here, right in the URL. So I find it's easiest just to copy it directly from the URL. So we'll copy it, and we'll head back over to the Google Colab, and we'll paste it in. The last one is for the number of labels. And in this case, there are only two labels. If the given text is positive or negative. So we'll, we'll set it at two. And now we can hit run. The model has just finished downloading, so we can get right to classifying text. We'll save the result into a variable called result. And from there, we'll use the happy TC object, and we'll use the classify text method that's available through the object. We only need to provide a single parameter called text, which is essentially text we're going to classify. So let's start with something positive. Hmm, how about I love AI? So this is a positive sentence. It's saying that I love artificial intelligence. We'll run it, it does not take long to run at all, and we can print the result. you'll see that it is a text classification result object with two parameters called label and score. So it classified it correctly into label one, label one being for positive, and it gave it a very high score. If we want to extract uh, the label from the result, we can use dot label. So it has nice syntax to do so. And we can see we got label. And likewise, we can do so with score. What if we wanted to classify negative text? Well, the procedure would be the exact same. We'll just rename the variable from result to result two and change the text here from I love AI to I hate tomatoes. We can hit run, add a new code block. Let's print this result and we see we get a text classification result object with two parameters called label and score. Let's just access the label. And like we'll expect, we got label zero indicating that this is negative. And similarly here, we print label and we get label one to indicate that this is positive. I've included a link down below to this Google Colab along with a link to Happy Transformer and the model we used for this tutorial. 
I encourage you to play around with the different sentiment analysis models that are available on Hugging Faces model distribution network. Perhaps you'll find one that works better for your particular use case.